All right, PDA Net Plus Revisited. On the, my last video, I showed you how to get uh, PDA Net Plus to work with the Firefox web browser. It's uh, PDA Net Plus is an Android app that lets you share your phone's internet connection with another device whether you have a hotspot or not and it can also hide the tether, tether usage from your carrier. And uh, with the, getting it to work with Firefox, um, it doesn't matter what distribution or what desktop environment you're on, that is going to work. Um, now what I have on here is a screenshot from Network Proxy Preferences in uh, Ubuntu Mate. And uh, Ubuntu Mate, or was this, yeah, this is Ubuntu Mate. I've tried this in Ubuntu Mate and Mint Mate. And then for network process, um, network proxy preferences, there's a GUI, graphical user interface, for configuring your proxy connection. And you can put all this in, the, uh, in your network proxy preferences, and blam. And now, not only can you browse and use Firefox, you can install software, um, install your updates, and all that other stuff. And uh, I've tried this in... Um, Ubuntu Mate and Mint Mate and it worked and uh, in GNOME 3 Ubuntu 18.04 GNOME 3 it has a similar GUI it did not work for me but I had other issues on my machine with GNOME 3 so this did not work for me in GNOME 3 but Ubuntu proper Ubuntu 18.04 when I installed the Unity desktop environment it did work in Unity desktop environment on Ubuntu Vanilla 18.04. So, I don't know. Um, I prefer to run XFCE for a desktop environment, and I've, uh, I've changed that. All my machines are running XFCE now, and there is no... Um, there is no uh, GUI to set up a proxy and you have to do it manually. So I'll have a link to my last video in the video description and I'll also have a link to this web page because this web page tells you how to set up your proxy and I did it I did this on a spare machine first but then uh, there's a couple scripts in proxy on sh and proxy off sh and uh, I'll just open up a terminal here and I think that was about and to turn the proxy on, it's sudo dot slash proxy on dot sh, and then you put your 192.168.49.1 space 8000, and then to use the proxy, and then the uh, turn the proxy off, it's sudo dot proxy off dot sh, and that turns it off, and then you would log out and log back in to make sure all the uh, changes take effect and uh, the bash scripts for that is right here on this website and what I did but you can use any text editor you want is uh, I just nanoed proxyon.sh whoops not nana <laughs> nano what okay now I'm feeling stupid not a zero an O and uh, you can just copy and paste this script into there except for and, and, except for this script is already there, so uh, and and pay, but assuming that, that this wasn't already done, and do the same thing for uh, proxy off sh. I'm just going to exit because I've already done this, so that's a control X. Um, if you're not comfortable with using nano in the terminal, there's um, use whatever GUI text editor you want to use, and then like I said. So, whoops, 
and there's what our there's what you do log out come out here log out and then log back in make sure all the changes take effect now we're here on PDA net plus and so let's go uh, software updater and I've already done this I just want to show you and it has some updates it needs that it's found already and I'm just going to go hit, hit install now and you will see here in a minute that it is indeed installing updates through PDA Net Plus and you can also install software this way now um, it does this is not going to work with steam steam I've noticed I've got steam in offline mode steam will not work with a proxy um, so this isn't going to work with uh, this isn't going to work with steam your steam games um, you'll just have to load into it but that's uh, that's my uh, PDA net plus revisited how to use it not just to web, browse the web with Firefox and uh, but also how to use it to install software and update your computer which wasn't in the last video and uh, that's it I'll, I'll put the uh, URL to the last video and I'll stick this URL to this site with these two scripts if you're running XFCE and want to do this in the uh, description of the video alright catch you next time